Hey guys, Kevin here. Yesterday I showed you how to set up a lead ad. A lead ad in Facebook is how I generated over $10 million for my clients with this particular type of ad in 2020. Uh, so now what I'm gonna do is show you how to get the people from that lead ad to automatically integrate with your email campaign, your drip sequence, or you know your booking software, all that kind of stuff. And to set that up, what we have to do is go into Zapier. Now what Zapier does is it basically just works as an integration tool and it connects everything throughout all these, you know, basically all these different systems. I could not even begin to tell you how many options you have when you start using Zapier. Uh, you connect people to the Google Sheets. Anyways, I digress. So what we're going to be doing with this is we're going to be saying um, <clears throat> lead ad to active campaign. So basically what we do is use active campaign as our CRM and our booking software. Uh, so we just want to make sure that Facebook is speaking directly with our email platform. That way we don't have to go into email every day and you know manually add people to our, our follow-up sequence. So anyways, we just start by uh, going to zapier.com, opening your account. We clicked create new zap. New zap. <clears throat> and now we are connecting a Facebook lead ad. So when does it start? When we get a new lead, continue, that's our trigger. Now what it's gonna do is ask us to set up a connection to our Facebook account. I've done this before. I'd have it in a lot of accounts. And let's get into it here. So we're going to our page, Samurai 9 Design. And if you remember, in our last video, we created a form called Client Lead Acquisition Form. So we have that. So what we've basically told Zapier to do is the second that they get a lead coming in through Facebook to fire this Zap, we're going to click continue. It's going to do a test right here just so that we know that it works. And we'll do a test trigger. It should give us some dummy information really quickly here. We have it test lead dummy data for full name and we'll click continue this is just proving that everything is set up <clears throat> and it can speak to my account so far now the next thing we're going to do is connect it with our email software and client acquisition CRM so what we're going to do is do, 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 find a contact we're going to create a new contact in active campaign and continue we're going to check the account and we are going to use the account that I use every time my own account <clears throat> and then it's just asking us which list we want to add them to uh, and this is going to be where are we going here? Inquiries. And then we're gonna get all of the information from our lead form. So here is saying what's the email address and we just click email address. So this is reading directly from Facebook. Uh, and Facebook on the lead ads, you get just first name, sorry, full name. You don't get a choice of first name and last name. So we're gonna throw that in there. And then finally, we're getting their phone number. So this is going to create a contact in active campaign for us. That way, basically, we are going to know who is contacting us and then we'll get notifications from active campaigns and we'll be able to automatically send out booking emails uh, and just really get the process started. So you know if if you ever respond to one of our ads nine times out of ten this is what's going on you have a lead ad it connects you to Z or it connects via zapier to active campaign uh and then that gets us into the cycle and after this basically uh what we're going to spend our time trying to do is uh first we're going to get a hold of you 
Uh, and then we're going to strike up conversation and uh, see what we can do to take care of everybody. Okay, anyways, that was how to connect a lead ad to Zapier. Uh, give this video a like. I don't know where we are with this video. Might be on Facebook, might be on YouTube. Oh, right now I'm just recording it.